Hello, my name is Emily Dawson. Today I'll be discussing the topic of community, more specifically the Aboriginal community. I'll be using Archie Roach's song, Took the Children Away, to represent the lack of community during this period of time. Community plays a large role in Aboriginal people's lives. They all know one another and all get along and engage together. Community is not only relevant on its own, but is also important for us as teachers to be linked with the community around us. This also involves making sure our students are linked with the communities. Harrison and Selwood state that this has many benef beneficial features for the students. They then elaborate to say that this can, have benef this can be beneficial because it will help to break down barriers. In an Aboriginal community, these barriers have been broken and this allows them all to communicate effectively. This communication level was heavily affected in the time of the stolen generation. It is important to remember that this is not just a past occurrence, this behaviour is still occurring in today's society. When families are faced with struggle times like this, it does not only affect the community they are in, but will also affect the child in their new white life. They may struggle with aspects such as intergenerational trauma and domestic violence. This will also affect us as teachers in our community because we may be faced with some children in our classrooms who are or have been affected by this. When children are taken away from their homes, it not only changes their life forever, but will also affect their parents' lives. The community will no longer be the same because there is a large amount of people missing. Instead of being a community with people of all different ages, it is now built up of a small group of adults missing their children or even siblings. To put the amount of numbers, there was 9,000 children recorded in New South Wales alone who identified as being part of the stolen generation. Just let that number sink in. 9,000 children that had to start a completely different life at a young age with completely different people in their community. A song that dis discusses the stolen generation in depth is Took the Children Away by Archie Roach. He uses strong lyrics to get the message across of what actually occurred during this time. Took the children away, took the children away, the children away. Snatch from their mother's breast, tenderness is for the best of them away. Welcome and the holy strain that you've got to understand. We'll give to them what you can't give. Teach them how to be The same lyrics are repeated, which helps maintain the general message to stay permanent during the course of the song. Not only does he use this song to address the truth about what happened during this time, but also to give himself a voice, as he was impacted by this himself when he was just a baby. He uses powerful lines to grab the attention of the audience and to give them a wake-up call to what the truth is behind the stolen generation. We'll give them what you can't give. This implies Aboriginal people were not capable of looking after and providing for their own children. When a child is taken from their family, this causes the family to break and be very emotional. Once this has happened, to multiple families in the one community, the whole community will be in a slump. They will be very upset and will lose their connections as a community because children are an important aspect of what brings different families together. Without everyone being in contact with their children, the community is broken and does not feel the same to everyone, causing everyone to be very introverted and upset until they know how their child or children are doing. By using a song to express the truth, it comes across as extremely powerful and emotional. Archie Roach does this in an exceptional way. Not only does this song represent the truth about the stolen generation, but it entails his challenges and his emotions. He had to experience through this time of hardship. This story is right, this story is true. I will not tell lies to you like the promise said they did not keep. And how they fenced us in like sheep. Said to us, come take care of him. Set us up on mission name, told us to read, to write and pray, then we took the children away. Not only did he have a challenging experience, but so did thousands upon thousands of other children. Communities were broken, families were ripped apart, and children are left with mental scars from these times. As a teacher, are you going to cover the truth with a blanket or keep it transparent with your students? in terms of teaching the stolen generation. The type of teacher you want to be is up to you. I'm leaving this in your hands.